Good morning. It's Thursday, January 2nd, 2020. Huh. 1 2 2020. Anyway, I had a lovely New Year's Eve, a very tame one. I was in bed and sleeping like well before 11. Um, I went out to dinner with my sister and my brother-in-law. There's a place up in, um, up in Port Chester, up in the suburbs, that we go to sometimes, and um, we went there, and it was delicious. Um, anyway, and you know, it was like normal menu, wasn't a special New Year's menu, didn't have to worry about like, you know, some pre-fee overpriced menu. It was just the normal menu. It was awesome. And then yesterday, my sister and I got up. We took my nephews to the diner for breakfast. They love going to the diner. And um, that was it. I, we hung out a little while. <sighs> We're looking for, so for school vacation week in, in February, my sister wants to go away somewhere for a week. But, you know, it's a challenge with the boys because she would like it to be somewhere that, like, has, like, a kids club and stuff they can do. Um you know, that we'll also enjoy, but that's not just a regular hotel room, because a whole week in a hotel room, like, you need, like, a kitchen and stuff with all these children. It'd be hard to do, like, takeout for every single meal with all these kids. So, anyway, we spent, like, probably an hour and a half or so yesterday, like, calling hotels, looking stuff up online. We couldn't find the right one that wasn't, like, $7,000 a night. Um... The other problem with the kids' clubs are most of them, it's five and older, and her oldest is five. So that doesn't really work if only one of the three children can be cared for. So um, anyway, and then I came home. I went to the grocery store. I cooked some dinner last night. I hung out, um, and that's it. And I'm off to work today, and I guess that's it. It's like Happy New Year. Happy to be, you know, starting a new year. Um, I think 2020, fingers crossed 2020 will be a good one. In any event, it's got to be better than last year. And that's it. So let's get on to the get up. This is a St. John sweater. These are Michael Kors trousers. Um, I think these are Jean Vito Rossi booties. I'm going to wear this. Oh, this is a Carvon coat throw it on. And then I'm actually uh, I'm wearing this Fendi bag that I haven't worn in a while. Um, and the problem with this Fendi bag is the strap is not long enough for it to be crossbody usually, but it has like one long strap and one small strap, and if you put them together, it is long enough to be crossbody. So problem solved. Um, and that's it. So I'm off. Happy New Year. Thanks. Talk to you soon. Like, it's like I'm hanging up the phone. Bye. <laughs>
but they like definitely like work they have this theory that um you know, there are a lot of muscles in your face that never get used, and so they like try to work the muscles. So basically, I did a, uh, I did, I did the works. Like basically everything they have to offer, I did in my session. Um, so it was something that seemed more like a traditional facial at first. You know, where they were rubbing a lot of products into my skin, massaging, I guess. But there was no like, I, there was no downtime. It wasn't in a regular facial. Sometimes they put stuff on your skin and then they walk away and let it sit. Here it was constant moving things around. And then they did a radio frequency thing that actually made your skin, my skin in certain places like really hot, uncomfortable at some point. So I would, she, she warned me of that. And she said, if that happens, let me know and I'll just pull away for a minute. So she did. And then, and each time she did something, she would do half of my face and show me. And you could see like the lit, like the, like a little bit of minimization of like, what I'd really like to minimize are these lines. Cause even though I'm 50, I don't have a ton of wrinkles. I don't know why my camera is not focusing nicely, but anyway. And then there was this other interesting apparatus that, you know, when your eye twitches, it made different parts of your face do that. So I think that's where they were activating muscles that you don't usually activate. Um, and then there was kind of a, a cryo facially thing, like a really cold thing that uh, supposedly was shooting some sort of vitamins into my pores. <laughs> but it was very interesting. I really, I, I liked it. Um, and so I said to her at the end, if what would you recommend going forward for me and she said well what are your goals and I told her I really just want to like minimize this without doing fillers if I could so she told me what I should do so I'm gonna try it like it's basically a series of certain of their services I think it's like six every other week um, so I booked my appointment for another two weeks so that was very very interesting I liked it um, and that's it now I'm off to work I'm on a, so I'm trying something diet wise. I'm do, trying a few days a week that intermittent fasting, which just basically means I'm not eating breakfast. So I guess the idea is that you only eat within like eight or nine hours of the day. And I'm like, that's not that hard. Really all it is for me is eliminating breakfast. So I'm trying that. And my morning routine is usually I go, I get an iced tea and a little, I never get a big breakfast, but you know, I get a little at Starbucks, they have these little spinach feta wraps, you know, with egg white or, you know, I'll go get something like that. Um, but I'm not doing that. So I've been making my iced tea at home so I don't even get tempted by going in. Um, I am a little hungry this morning, but I'm going to still try to like press on without the breakfast because I do know I'm going to be eating, you know, I'm going out to dinner tonight. Um, and it's a big week of eating, so there's that. Um, and I also, my um, Pilates instructor slash like nutrition coach, she came over last night after Pilates and we were talking about nutrition and she said, have you ever thought of doing like paleo or a whole 30? So I'm considering that for like just a jump start of some sort. Um, I do feel like I've lost a few pounds. Um, I've been, you know, just making some small, like, conscious choices over the last few weeks, which I do think has made a little bit of a difference. Probably also helped that I had a stomach flu around Christmas time. Always one stomach flu away from my goal weight. But anyway, today I'm wearing, um, well, this is my coat. It's my Fendi coat that I got a couple years ago at the outlets. And then I'm just wearing, this is just a, little peasanty black blouse from a brand called Co. Michael Kors trousers, my Gucci belt. I think these are just John Vito Rossi booties. I have on a Chanel necklace and I'm carrying the bright pink Chanel bag. Um, so yeah, I think, I think that's all I have to report for today. Happy birthday to me, bye. Okie dokie, it is Saturday, January 11th, <clears throat> and I, as you can see, I'm looking very glam. I just had somebody come over and do my makeup. Tonight is my party for my 50th birthday. So my birthday was Tuesday, and it's been a week of festivities. I went out Tuesday night with my 
brother, my sister, my brother-in-law for dinner. And then, um, what happened? Oh, Wednesday night my mom got in town. So Thursday I went up to my sister's. Like, she was, she's she been up at my sister's. I went up there. We spent the day up there. Thursday night we cooked dinner. And then yesterday we spent the day in the city. Sandy and John were, from, were in town, for, are in town from Vermont. Well, San, John left this morning. He had to go. Anyway, whatever. Sandy's still here. But we went and had lunch um, in the tavern room at the Gramercy, Gramercy Tavern yesterday, which I forgot how spectacular that restaurant is. Like, I like, well, in the tavern room. The, the regular restaurant is spectacular, but it's a tasting menu, and I prefer the, I think it's like a chef, you know, I think you have to do a, like a chef's tasting, if I'm correct. But the tavern room is like a more casual menu, and it is delicious, and the service there is really, really just top notch. Um, so we had a lovely lunch. We went to my sister's jeweler, because she has been looking at diamond earrings. So I looked, I haven't bought anything yet, but I looked at some upgraded diamond earrings. Um, and then, oh, last night Sandy and John came over. John was the bartender in residence here at Shea Lissy. And um, we went out to dinner. So today, ha my friend Heather's in town from Colorado. My friend Nicole's in town from Boston. I met them for lunch. Um, and then I came home. I relaxed a little. And then I had someone come over and do my makeup. And shortly, I'm going to be leaving for my soiree, which is in the private room at Mayalino in the Gramercy Park Hotel. And Mayalino is one of my favorite restaurants. Um, and it's going to be such great fun. I have 25 people coming, most of front, like all my friends from Boston. Like it's just going to be awesome. So 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 looking forward to it. Um, but I should show you guys the gift I got. Is it focusing? The bracelet, not the watch. The watch I've had. But so that bracelet, my sister and Sandy and my mom gave me, um, and it's just so beautiful. I just love it so much. Um, obviously, Lissy is my nickname. Alyssa is my full name. And the bracelet says Alyssa. So, yeah. So I am I'm ready to go, but actually a with a little time to spare. Um, I was hemming and hawing over what to wear. I bought like a bunch of different things. This jacket being one of them. This is an Alexander McQueen jacket. The co look at the colors, like spectacular. I bought another Alexander McQueen jacket that was black but it had some like lace that kind of like stuck out here. So you would definitely want to wear something underneath that's not black. And then the sleeve was like an open sleeve with, like with lace like coming out of it. And it was very cool and very dramatic. But I decided I'd rather opt for color. And, um, and that kind of sleeve could be a little unwieldy when one is like eating dinner. So, um, yeah. So the party starts at 630. Um... We're going to have cocktails for like, you know, probably like an hour, cocktails and hors d'oeuvres. And then we have a sit-down dinner. Um, I'll take some pictures. It's going to be beautiful. I have flowers coming from Flower Girl, which is a lovely, darling little florist that's right on the block where I used to live on the Lower East Side. Um, and we have... The menu is, for Annie Pasti, we're having, like, you know, Italian, like, cured meats and cheeses and, like, a, um, a mixed green salad with an anchovy vinaigrette, which is delicious. And then we're having a pasta course. We're having cacio e pepe, and we're having bolognese, um, a pork bolognese, which is also delicious. And then for the main course, we're having, like, a spicy chicken, a sea bass, and some sort of, maybe, like, a ribeye or something. And then, you know, a few dessert options and, you know, cocktails and wine. And it's just going to be such great fun. So, um, all right. So let's look at the whole getup. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is the Alexander McQueen jacket I got. I'm just wearing a black top underneath. <coughs> Woo. Um, this is a Chanel necklace I've had for a very long time that I haven't worn. And I love it. I'm wearing some leather trousers and these fabulous, like, new Chanel shoes that I just got yesterday. Um, these are the Jennifer Fisher bracelets that my sister got me for Christmas. And I'm carrying, I'm going to carry this um, little Chanel clutch. So, yeah. So, that's really, I guess 
that's really it. Um, I'll check in with you soon. Bye.